This is the XPS 13. It's equipped with an Intel Core i7-6560U, Intel RS540 graphics, a 256GB NVMe SSD, and 8GB of RAM. The XPS 13 comes in a nice premium box uh, with the XPS in it carefully wrapped up and uh, the instruction manuals inside. The exterior of the device is beautiful. It's made from machined aluminium and from carbon fibre. When opening up the device for the first time, the first thing you notice is the beautiful big 13.3 inch Infinity Edge display. It's really amazing and I think it's awesome how small they've managed to cramp the beautiful screen of this device into such a small footprint. The footprint of the XPS is quite incredible. Pictured on the left is the XPS 13 and on the right is a 13 inch MacBook Air. They have the same screen size and yet the XPS is so much uh, smaller. The XPS is thicker than some ultrabooks but it's really not sorry about that and the performance in my opinion uh, is much more important than uh, how heavy or how thick the device is. In terms of I.O., on the left of the device we have a power in port, a Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port, a USB 3.0 port, a 3.5mm headphone microphone combo port, and a battery indicator. On the right of the device we have a SD card slot, a USB 3.0 port with power share, and a Noble lock. The screen on the XPS 13 is beautiful. It's a 1080p display with no touch, but, that's, but you can choose different options with different screen settings and with touch. The viewing angles on the matte display are amazing and you can still see uh, part of the screen content when it's completely on an angle to you. The speakers on the XPS 13 pack a punch, they're very loud and surprisingly the sound quality is quite good. The webcam on the XPS 13 isn't that good, but to be honest I don't use the webcam at all on any of my devices, so I really don't care. This is an audio recording from the XPS 13. The microphone isn't bad, but it's not the best I've ever heard on a laptop. The Surface Pro 3 definitely had a better one. Um, the only problem with it is it's in an awkward location, so sometimes you'll be able to hear key presses on the keyboard while I'm typing, or um, when the fans ramp up when I'm playing a game, because I'm often playing games with my friends. Uh, this is a great gaming device, so the fan speed ramps up, and unfortunately the microphone is quite close to the fans. The glass precision trackpad on the XPS 13 is awesome. I haven't had a tracking issue with it yet, and it, personally I think it's one of the best on the market. The trackpad is a multi-touch trackpad which allows you to have more than one finger on the, on the trackpad at once. So I can use different gestures on the device like changing between Windows 10 desktops and scrolling up and down the page with two fingers. The keyboard on the XPS 13 is nice and accurate. I will now do a sound test and I will progressively get uh, faster in typing. I love the keyboard on the XPS 13. It's one of the reasons I bought the device in the first place and personally I think it's the best laptop keyboard. Since the XPS 13 will be used a lot for video editing as it is my main device and by far my most powerful one, um, it was great to see that it scored highly in Cinebench compared to my last device. It scored 311 CB in Cinebench compared to the Surface Pro 3's 103. So we've tripled the score, plus some extra. Something to sweeten the deal that I didn't realise when I purchased the device was the fact that the XPS 13 came with an NVMe uh, PCI Express SSD instead of a SATA or AHCI based SSD. The drive performs well with a read of 1.6 gigabytes per second and a write of 777 megabytes per second. With RS540 graphics running alongside the i7-6560U, the XPS 13 is pretty good at gaming and so I've tested three games with the system uh, Due to the small-ish size of the hard drive, I won't be installing many or more games on this system, and I'm not going to expect AAA t titles to run on the system in the first place. GTA, I tried to run off an external hard drive, which was probably a bottleneck, um, but it was not fun. 
In Europa, Universalis IV, uh, the XPS 13 scored an average of 28 frames per second and a maximum of 52 frames per second. In Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the XPS 13 scored 100 frames per second on average and a maximum of 220 frames. So even a game like CSGO where it's important to have a high frame rate, this will definitely be fine. Minecraft was run at the highest settings and it scored an average of 59 frames per second and a maximum of 62 frames a second on a popular server in the middle of spawn with lots of buildings and lots of players, so that's pretty impressive. All tests were run at the highest settings of the game and at 1080p. The boot times on the XPS 13 are good with it taking only 14 seconds to start the device and 17 seconds to shut the device down. Another good thing about the XPS 13 is its battery life. I was able to get a solid 3-3.5 three to three and a half hours of gaming at 100% brightness on the beast and I was also able to get around 6-7 to seven hours of battery on around 50-75% to 75 brightness uh, doing moderate to high workloads. In conclusion, the XPS 13 is everything I thought it was going to be and some extra. It even has a mobile hotspot on board, that's something I didn't know when I purchased it. It is certainly worth the $2,000 that I spent on this device as it will last a very long time thanks to its sturdy construction and will always have the performance thanks to it's the i7 and the Iris 540 graphics. The healthy range of I.O. and the good battery will also help it stay above the rest of the competition as it will be a device that it, I'll be able to use for many years going on thanks to the Thunderbolt 3 uh, USB Type-C port. I love my XPS so much. I've only had it for around two weeks now, but I've already gotten such a good impression from it. I believe Dell will be getting a lot more of my money in the future when I need to replace this XPS. I'll probably be getting another XPS. The device is perfect for my needs with enough power for video editing and gaming, but in a, such a nice form factor that I can easily take it around wherever I go. Dell, you've managed to impress me a lot more than I thought I could be impressed. Good job, guys.